Right, so this um, video is on um, battery recovery from laptop batteries, 18650 cells, to make an um, electric bike battery. Uh, a selection here. Um, these are what I've got left. Well, I've got a few more. Uh, but these are what I've got left over from um, buying a load off um, eBay. I've got um, over 100 um, battery packs. Uh, for under forty pounds, haven't been as lucky just lately. They all they seem to have went rocketed in price, so I'm not going to buy them at the price that they want. They seem to be going for like ninety pounds for about forty of them at the moment, so a bit too expensive for me. But uh, yeah, when I bought these ones, I got over a hundred laptop batteries, and uh, yeah, I got them for under forty pounds. So that was pretty good. Uh, I got a selection of uh, different brands, but they're all um, original uh, batteries. They're not um, cheap ones from China. So they're all genuine orig original batteries, which is something that you really need to look for when buying second-hand batteries. Because if you buy the Chinese um, quality batteries, recycled um, 18650 batteries in. So it means as soon as you get the um, packs, they're going to be useless, basically. Uh, I've had quite a few Chinese battery packs to replace um, battery packs in my laptop. And they barely last a year, so you're, if you're going to buy second-hand battery packs, your best bet is to buy genuine um, battery packs in the first place, if you can. Yeah, there's Sony ones, Samsung... Uh, Toshiba, Sony, Samsung, yep, Samsung, Toshiba. These will generally have like uh, Sony cells, Samsung cells, Panasonic cells, which are all decent brand um, cells, and that's what you really need to get. So go for the genuine batteries. Uh, few tips on opening these, uh, you need to be careful you don't short the batteries out inside uh, and they're quite hard to get into because I think they're um, sonically sealed so they're basically sealed all the way around the way I generally get into it is hammer and well I did use a screwdriver as well but if you find the edge all the way around and then just take a hammer to it basically
go. So there we've got some Samsung cells. It's a cheaper battery pack. Samsung cells in there anyway. Uh, these are originally would have been around about two amp hours each. And then you've just got to dissect them out of the pack, which can be tricky sometimes. Especially if I've got a lot of um, glue in there, it can be reasonably hard to get them out sometimes. And I've found, especially Panasonic packs, they tend to be sometimes super glued in quite well. If you're careful and take them out, then you just need to uh, take the packs apart. without shorting the batteries out preferably. Best to start the um, negative side I find. one pack. I generally don't take them apart any further than that because uh, you only end up soldering them back together in the end if you're going to make a lithium ion um, electric um, battery for an e-bike anyway. Yep, so there we go, we've got six batteries there. Multimeter to see what they're at. See if they're any good. So that's at 0 0.3 volts. That may be able to be recovered. 0 0.8 volts. And 0 0.06 volts. Um, 
And the way to try to recover these batteries is to use a variable power supply and uh, start charging it um, very low milliamps and then bring it up over time to get it up to around about 3 volts. Once you're up to 3 volts uh, then you can charge them with a normal um, RC charger. Uh, like this one here, this is the um, Turnergy Accucell 6 charger. And then where these leads are, you just put two crocodile clips on there and you can just directly charge these batteries once you've got them up to around 3 volts with a variable power supply. Alright, so the type of power supply you want is uh, one like this. Um, you can control the voltage. So you can control the voltage. But you can also control the current, the amount of amperage you're putting in as well. There's nothing connected at the moment so the current won't go up. Because it's not drawing any current. Alright, so here's the battery we just removed. And we'll use the um, variable power supply to charge it. You need to be careful when doing this so you don't short the batteries out. Right, so as you can see it's at 0.2 volts. So you just need to leave it to charge and when you know it's charging the amperage here should go down because it shows it's taking the current. So you possibly might get two good batteries here but you've got to bear in mind that they've been discharged a considerable time and it's probably um, damaged the battery so they won't be very high capacity. Uh, that pack wasn't particularly um, good full stop. All the batteries were basically dead so this will probably still make a couple of good batteries but they won't be anywhere near the uh, capacity that they were originally. They look like they're charging so but yeah, that's the way to charge them from um, zero volts. Uh, once you get up to three volts, you should be okay. And then you should be able to charge it on the standard charger. And then with the standard charger, it's got a uh, milliamp. On here it's got a milliamp counter and it will tell you um, how many milliamps has been put into the battery. So if it takes say 3 to 4 amp hours then you know you've got a couple of good batteries. Whereas if it only takes 1 amp hour to charge it then you know that they're basically uh, useless. Uh, this will take a while, it could take several hours, but uh, yeah, that's the way you do it anyway. So, yep, so that's how I uh, take my batteries apart and reuse them as uh, e bike batteries anyway.
Uh, this is one small 12 volt pack that I put together. It's a bit rough. It's just to um, power a 12 volt um, outdoor light. And yeah, this uh, pack here, it's about it's about 8 amp hours. And it easily it will easily last longer than one of these lead acid batteries. So yeah, this is seven amp hours, but you can only usually draw about five amp hours from it before it's uh, fully dead. Because if not, you risk damaging the battery internally, and then you've got a useless battery. Whereas these, you, I can get around about eight amp hours out of these. So size comparison is half the size, and well, I think a lot less than half the weight anyway. So. They're definitely worth uh, repurposing if you can. These are the same cells as what I got out of those ones. These ones were quite good batteries, these were. Uh, uh, these ones that I just removed, they're not quite so good. Uh, very low voltage, so they probably might not be very good batteries once they're fully charged. Yeah, it's always worth a go, you never know your luck. Uh, the majority of the batteries that I've brought have been uh, really good. I think I've only chucked probably about 10 batteries away out of the uh, probably about 70 batteries packs I opened. So they're not too bad really. Maybe if you can recover them, even better. But yeah, that's it anyway. Thanks very much and see you next time. Bye.